hello lovely people welcome again to my channel this is a Dorasha's channel i am your friend i am that your sister your neighbor and i am that person who has been sharing her experiences with you on a role and responsibilities as a new mom in a foreign land as a wife and as a woman who is more last week i spoke to you about ways i think you can support your partner as a new wife i hope that you enjoyed it i'd love to hear from you please drop a comment if today is your first time of coming across this channel you're welcome make sure you subscribe to my channel and do tap on the notification bell so that you get a video anytime i have a new video shout out to my baby for always giving you amazing background music i love her so much and thank you for your understanding today i'm going to be talking to you about managing your responsibilities as a new wife it's the eczema season if you've just been married or you've not been married for long Oh, there is a lot of responsibilities for you, especially if you're an African wife, you know. Esma season, generally, whether you're African or not, is a season of giving, a season of sharing, a season of love, a season of cooking, and that might involve a whole lot of things. So as a new wife, how do you manage your responsibilities? Managing household responsibilities as a new wife involves finding a balance and sticking to an effective routine how do i mean and how do you do this um like i said last week the first thing about any kind of relationship where human beings are involved is communication so you want to have an open communication with your partner on the household responsibilities and how to go about them well you might be thinking household responsibility is the sole responsibility of a woman well traditionally in africa that is what we are meant to believe the woman does almost everything if not everything regarding the household chores and things to be done in the house like cleaning cooking caring for the kids and all but in today's world i'm happy to know that a lot of men share responsibilities with their wife and it makes it effective and a lovely home after all marriage is a partnership marriage is between two people who have become one body and as a result you cannot just leave one party alone to be doing everything so how do you share responsibilities you want to communicate this with your partner i mean don't expect that um in this season especially where family and friends will be visiting um you're going to be on your food for a long time cooking these making turkey chicken and all of that and automatically expect that your husband or your partner should know that they need to support you no they always don't know everything in your mind they are not in your mind so it's better to have an open communication with your partner on how the both of you would like your household to be and what and what each party should do if you think that the old thing um the old caring for the house the managing of the household is too much for you as a woman then have an open conversation with your husband on how to go about it to help the both of you and make sure you are on the same page on this another thing you might want to think about is creating a shadow yeah you have to create a shadow that works for both you and your partner depending on your preferences so for example if you wake up in the morning the first thing you want to do is probably pray and lay your bed go to the kitchen cook just create a shadow that works for you and do not follow anyone's shadow let it be a shadow that works for both you and your partner if you do this and you stick to your shadow i assure you managing the household responsibility would be a lot easier than you already think or imagine another thing you want to do while managing your household responsibility is to prioritize your tax so um some tax should get more priority than the other depending of course on the agency of that particular tax so if for instance cleaning is the is the thing you want to prioritize maybe because the household is already in the mess make that your priority and you know work based on priority so that at the end of the day or at the end of the season if you are unable to complete every tax on your schedule at least you would have completed the most important one and that would really help you and while ensuring a realistic 
expectation do not forget to appreciate your partner for their input in the managing of your household tasks don't think that this house is our house so um, whatever we do we've, do, we've done it for ourselves if you you come back from work as a man and you notice your household is clean and everything is intact you want to plant a kiss on your wife's cheeks or mouth hug them appreciate them buy them a flower and they are going to feel very happy on the other hand too if your husband joins you while um, completing a particular task you should be grateful to them you should thank them for participating and making the task easier for you and not just the man as a wife you can plant a kiss on your husband's lips or forehead you can also buy him whatever thing you think he loves or take him out for a treat just to make him feel appreciated everybody loves to be appreciated i i bet you that if your husband or your partner helps you out with house chores and you appreciate them the right way i assure you that they would continue to help you because even men love to be pampered and appreciated so pamper your partner for helping you out every time with whatever thing whether it is household responsibilities or your personal responsibilities your professional responsibilities whatever thing that your partner does for you appreciate them and i assure you that they will do more and you both will be happy also as a new wife you have to be flexible um times and season changes and there could be unforeseen circumstances and you have to make room for that so that in the event that you quickly have to leave the house or dash out to do something or something comes up you don't have a visitor and then your household is in a mess or your in-laws come visiting and there's no food nothing whatsoever to welcome them that will be a disaster and a dent on your image so you have to ensure that you are flexible in the sense that make sure that there's always something around should there be an unforeseen circumstance um something or a plan b that you can easily fall to my last suggestion for you as a new wife especially in this season um i would advise that you seek support if your household responsibilities is overwhelming seeking support would not lessen who you are or take away from you you can seek support from people around you you can seek support from your partner you can seek support from your family and friends you can seek support from whoever you think that is able to support you and if that support means that getting a help um getting a professional that you can pay depending on your circumstances and your situation please do so that you don't get one out whatever is okay and whatever your partner agrees to please do if you actually need help make sure that you get help we all have people around us we have siblings we have sisters and we have professionals who do a whole lot of things so make sure you get help you don't have to cook all of the meals if you don't have the strength or the energy to you can seek professional support there are caterers out there who can help and finally before i draw the curtains for today i know that you are skilled i know that you are amazing at what you do but managing the household responsibilities can be overwhelming so please and please if you need to seek help whatever kind of help please do i like to leave you with this scripture proverbs chapter 19 verse 14 it says that houses and wealth are inherited from parents but a prudent wife is from the lord be a prudent wife i love you till i come your way again next week do have a fabulous christmas season like i always say i am not an expert in this field these are my own experiences and things that i think would be helpful to you i love to hear from you as well do not forget to subscribe bye